Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks. I'm still at the Nokia event here in San Francisco and finally, finally can take a look at the new personal assistant. Why are all personal assistants kind of female? Is well, it, it's weird, isn't it? Siri, Cortana. I don't know. We think our, our That's a really thing. cool kind of persona. Weird. <laughs> a really cool persona, Cortana. Okay, cool. Just, just show me what can it do? Yeah, for sure. So Cortana, like you said, a persona that was inspired by the artificial intelligence in, in, in Halo. Uh, a little bit different in the phone. Cortana is your personal assistant, and when I use her for the first time, she starts learning about you. She learns your name, the things that start mattering to you. So she learns, you know, that I'm interested in specific sports teams or headlines that I'm interested in following. And she keeps all of that stuff that she gets to know about you in what we call Cortana's notebook. And real life personal assistants keep these notebooks uh, about their clients. So Cortana does the same about you. She keeps your interests, you know, traffic around where you are, headlines. She can keep, you know, stocks you're interested in, sports teams, trip planners, weather in different locations. She knows your quiet hours as well. Those are the times when you don't want to be disturbed. But you know what? Cortana's smart enough to know that some people can always come through. Maybe that's your mother, maybe that's your sister. They can always get through. Cortana also knows your favorite places. So a place like home, for example. If I say home to Cortana, yeah. she knows what I'm talking about. So I can set these. And Cortana learns a lot about me, so she can be really proactive. She can tell me, for example, if I'm following a flight, that there's a flight delay. She can tell me if I have an appointment coming up, if there's a traffic um, accident and I have to leave early, for example. Of course I can interact with Cortana using my voice. There's Let's tons do that. of things that I can do. So here are some examples of the, the kinds of stuff that I can do, but I'll give you an example. We'll actually try it in person. Great. So I'll, I'll, I'll do a, a people reminder, which okay. is actually a unique feature. Next time I talk to my sister, remind me to ask about her new job. Well, the voice recognition is absolutely amazing. Really fast. Next time that Grace calls me or texts me, I'll now get that reminder to show up. I'll get the alert, and that makes me a better brother. So there's tons of things that I can do with my voice. I can ask for directions, for restaurants. I can do all of these things. But Cortana also has a bit of a personality. So, for example, if I say, sing a song. So, I don't know if you heard it over the music. She, she sounds like a drunk Irish guy. She's actually quite a good singer, I thought, at least. But she knows jokes. She knows how to respond to a lot of these things. And this personality and the domains that she knows are things that we're going to continue to improve server-side. So yeah. we're not going to always have to wait for client updates in order to get all of the new cool personality and features in Cortana. So the voice recognition is happening in the cloud, not on the device itself. The voice recognition is happening, uh, well, there's actually voice recognition that's happening on the device. We do have an offline mode. Okay. So there are certain things that you can do offline. Setting an alarm does not require going to the cloud. And so Cortana can do certain things for you offline as well. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was pretty good.